Hi, I'm Nick Wensley. I'm a final year photovoltaic and solar energy engineering student and I also work as an undergraduate sustainability consultant at Northrop Consulting Engineers. How do I design the ideal building with an infinite budget? Well, I wouldn't use this budget as an excuse for wasteful extravagance, but rather an opportunity for excellence, both in the embodied and operational aspects of the building. Firstly, I would ensure that materials are selected with transparency, prioritizing materials which are recycled and highly recyclable. I would eliminate the use of any toxic or harmful materials, such as paints with high concentrations of volatile organic compounds. And I would also ensure that my supply chain is free from the impacts of modern slavery. This could be achieved with the DECLARE label from the Living Future Institute Australia. Second, I would design the building with exceptional thermal comfort relative to its climate. This would involve implementing passive house principles such as excellent insulation, reduced thermal bridging, double or even triple glazed windows, a heat recovery ventilation system, and additionally, I would implement automated shading to optimize solar heat gain. Third, I would allow for the optimization of on-site renewable generation early in the design phase. Often building managers seek to retrofit a photovoltaic system only to find out their rooftop is entirely shaded or oriented south. I would maximize north facing roof sections and locate any obstructions such as HVAC systems on the south of the building. If the building had minimal roof space, I would introduce building integrated photovoltaics, also known as BIPV, into the external facade. I would build on-site energy storage and electrical vehicle charging capabilities to future-proof my building. The reduced heating and cooling loads from the passive features in addition to the on-site generation, will result in significantly lower dependence on grid energy and low operational costs. Lastly, I would integrate a variety of vegetation throughout the building to support the innate human appeal to be in and around nature, which is known as biophilia. This would include green walls, potted plants, external green facades, and even a microgreen farming room which would provide nutritional vegetables to occupants, reducing the transportation impact of having fresh produce on hand. I would design the ideal building by reducing the impacts of materials, optimizing the naturally available solar resources, and introducing plants to improve the experiences of occupants. Thanks for listening.